I was in Houston during when I got COVID. This is like probably 2021. Mm. I had to keep my room for 10 days because I was still like people weren't do I know people weren't doing you this. Was at a hotel? I I quarantined inside of a hotel. No. I didn't go around people. I stayed in the room for like 12 to 14 days. Like this is before they said, "Oh, 5 days, 7 days." The first, remember at first it was 14. Right. So my rental car ended up being 14 days. My room was 14 days. I tried to pull the cloak the covid thing. They told me to kiss ass and suck dick <laughs> but no nah, i was like over fucked up i couldn't like once my taste went away it was just the worst it's easy to forget about how serious that shit felt at that time yeah it's like can't roll out the bed can't talk to nobody every time i sit up this way i got a pounding headache right but one thing that works and i don't advise you guys to try it but one thing that used to put me on my feet every day and have me running Fentanyl. around the room you're close. <laughs> Percocets. <laughs> All I know. They knock the fever out. They get you back. Really? Yeah. So then you were like, I'm going to just keep taking these every day. <laughs> I, ate, <laughs> already like, I ate like 60 of them in fucking uh, two weeks. In the course of having COVID? Yeah. You up the dose? Yeah. Damn. I mean, you know, if you pop a couple and you're sitting in a room and you pop, 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 you're, the, the, uh, you start getting like, used to that shit yeah well that's Immune addiction to it i know yeah. we went through this already yeah, yeah no but when i got my hair transplant they gave me a bunch of perks man it is you hard to not just to keep stop. taking yeah them. that's like, what i said it's it's, like, it feels good and then it feels real bad you yeah. feel great for a few hours and you it's don't terrible. feel so good and it's like i need another real good feeling yeah and, and i'm like 40 it. you know even at that time i would have been like 36 or some shit and that shit is the the the, the negative side of it you really feel it yeah it's fucked up I think when I quit, I'm gonna just go to an inpatient for a week, really? two weeks. Yeah. You got plans to quit? Yeah, but we we need to have a perk party before then, though. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's probably like ten years from now. Ten years? What are you? Thirty three? You trying to 35. die? <laughs> huh? You trying to die? Do nah. perks for ten years? I mean, no, it's die. a medicine. People do perks. Them old people been doing perks. When you get prescribed that shit. It no, doesn't. Nobody is prescribed it for ten years. Yeah, Ooh, they are. why are you? Are you serious? Yeah, there's you, people that. That's normal. Do you know that the perks aren't the highest dose of opioids? Like they have these things called opanas and shit too. Oh, and what? they're like forty milligrams and oh. sixty milligrams, eighty. And also, just what you get prescribed is all about what kind of doctor you got. Yeah, like if you got a doctor who's happy to watch you die, they'll keep you on them for ten that's years. That's what I'm no about problem, to say. Man. How long do you think Michael Jackson was on the? He just got a cool ass doctor. Two years. No. Two years. I know doctors in Beverly crazy. Hills that for sure would prescribe me ten years worth of for Percocets. For sure. For, for sure. Because they'll prescribe you it's anything like else you want to. Whatever they want. Prince. You think Prince first just started? They've been doing that shit was since it was a Quaalu. I think he was sneaky on the fake on the fake ones. I don't think they have fake ones back then. Prince. Fake Percocets back then. No. Oh, he didn't die off a of fake person. Did he? Well, I don't yeah. know where Prince died from. No, he died off a of Percocet overdose because he, he took too many. He died off of fentanyl. No, look it up. Why would you? Why would you just assume <laughs> that up, though? Bro. He died because he took too many of the motherfuckers. <laughs> Yo, I assume every celebrity that I, you ain't okay, never you don't need to take your phone out. I am the Google man. Yeah, I'll, Google Prince everything. Cause of death. Oh, for say fentanyl, I'm gonna be so hype. Oh, oh. Oh! oh! Prince died oh. after accidentally overdosing on fentanyl. Oh, somebody Ooh. sold Prince the fake perks. Fake perks. He knows because he was that. a fake perk dealer. You, that. you win. He's he's not. Oh, six so. <laughs> he's never seen fentanyl all day in his life, though. That's a, he always talks about fentanyl. Mm. You've never seen a pack of Fetty. You crazy? September 2019, I smuggled fentanyl through the airport. Why? To get it to the other side. Oh, you just need to get it to New York? Yeah. Do you know the statue of limitations? Nah, that's cool. Ain't nobody died. How are they going to prove it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I wouldn't have said that, though. Statue of limitations uh, on smuggling person? So, would you took a whole a whole brick of it, though? No. Nah. We're not going to talk about he had that a patch. Amount. That's what I was about to say. You, you, didn't, you ain't seen no fit, though. You probably seen a perky pill. Yeah, no let's, go, let's go yeah, with that. Say, you ain't seen no bricks of fit, If the cops act shit. I just know that you're not in a circle where they have bricks of fit, though. Not anymore. 